Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your March reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of March. And as always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Please use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All of the decks are listed in the description box below, along with the best way to contact me if you would like to inquire about a personal reading. And one of your cards just fell on the floor. Also, um, I wanted to let you know that when I um, set up your video, was setting up for your video, I saw 444 on the timestamp. Um, actually, it was the, the time uh, of the day. So 444 and my left ear started ringing. Very, very high pitch ringing in my left ear. So uh, angels are surrounding you. 444 is like... Um, all of the angels are surrounding you. They're giving you messages. You may be getting some serious uh, ear ringing or downloads, uh, messages from spirit, from the universe. So let's invite in the angels and the archangels. Let's invite in the divine with love and light and the elements of earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us for this reading for my beautiful Sagittarians. What do we have for Sag for the month of... March 2023, big month ahead, Saturn moving into Pisces, Pluto moving into Aquarius after 15 years of being in Capricorn, big, big energies, uh, full moon in Virgo and new moon in Aries towards the end of March. So let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Before I cut the deck, there's the Ace of Cups, beautiful. New bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. So let's see what Sagittarius is dealing with this month. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful way to start. Three of Cups. Sensing some energy of friends and community. Also your work relationships, soul family, long-term commitments here, especially in friendships. Page of Wands, so that's um, Venus and Jupiter and Chiron in Aries here. So we're getting the Aries energy of sort of youth and enthusiasm. And we have the King of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming out. Um, all right, Sagittarius. So from these four cards, these are beautiful cards to get, actually. But at the bottom of the deck, we're seeing the Five of Cups. So that's some kind of disappointment or sadness, loss or grief. And underneath that, we see the Ace of Wands, your energy of fire with the Queen of Wands. So I really like the bottom of the deck. It shows me that you may have gone through some sad times, hard times, some kind of change in your life. I feel this is the fire returning to Sag, maybe activated by Venus and Aries, activated by Jupiter and Aries. Um, and the Chiron energy being there too, it's kind of like dealing with our own wounding, some of our, you know, triggers, things like that. So I'm sensing that uh, you have had a lot of strength, perseverance um, through these times, these last degrees of Pluto and Capricorn, you know, um, I feel you've really gone the extra mile here, Sag. Uh, to remain optimistic and hopeful, to draw from like deep, deep within you, your passion, creativity, inspiration, and also just showing up as a light in the world, perhaps even for other people in your life who may be going through some hard times, some loss, some sadness. Um, I love like the black cat here with this queen of wands kind of wrapped around her neck. She's carrying the light from within, the magic, the passion, all of that. So I really like the bottom of the deck for you. Um, the month of March really focused on, um, focused on building your wealth, focused on your stability, focused on your work. Um, but with that page there, it's like, you know, bringing in the inspiration. Uh, there may be somebody close to you that you're working with, someone really bright and sunny, optimistic. Uh, I'm sensing some kind of like juxtaposition between your daily responsibilities, the work that you're doing, and also having fun. Uh, Three of Cups, Page of Wands. So there's something about Sagittarius maybe 
balance having a balancing act in the month of month of March. It may be a lucky month for you financially, actually. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day here in the United States on March 17th, you know, and we always think of like the luck of the Irish and I'm loving the King of Pentacles here and all of the green that's surrounding him. So I'm sensing this is a lucky month for you regarding work, um, regarding your business, your ideas, like something booming. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is showing me hard work pays off. Um, but then also this balance between having fun, being an enjoyment, there may be some new adventure um, that you're being guided to take this month. It may be like, you know, where again, you, you're kind of doing your work, you're doing all of the things, you're really showing up, um, but also to have fun. The other thing I'm sensing here is that there may be, um, you may be recognized by uh, a coworker or a boss, and maybe it's someone that you work for, but they're also like soul family. It's really like a soul connection. And you may have some really bright idea this month, some new idea, something that's really inspired. Again, I was hearing the ringing in my ear right before I started your reading and it's my, it was my left ear, very high pitched. So like very pure, it was a very pure ear ringing because not, they, not all of them are. Um, so you may have some really bright idea. Okay. If you do bring it to someone, um, and even if this is you, it's an idea or an inspiration around your own business. Um, take charge and do it because I feel that it's something that could lead to really long-term success. Um, and if you work for someone else, maybe you're bringing it to this King of Pentacles. It's going to be really, really well received. Okay. Really well received. Um, so those are some messages uh, that I'm getting from that. And just a really nice energy of friendship and loyalty, long-term friendships being really important right now. I think that that's something that Sagittarius is really looking at. Like, who's going to be there in the long run? Who are your people? Who is your tribe? Very, very important. So also some of you may be looking at who you can partner with inside of your friend group, your community, who you can partner with to bring in more wealth. There's definitely something about community here and soul family, soul tribe. So let's pull you some Oracle and then we will, um, we'll read your chakras actually, and then we'll clarify the tarot. So we are getting by the book and I feel like, look, here's the tribe, right? Here's the family elephants. Um, they're so beautiful. So you have elephant on your totem right now, and that's always a sign of good fortune and good luck. Elephants are very community oriented. Um, we saw the five of cups here and it said that like elephants, they really do mourn loss the way that people mourn loss. Um, they'll remember you forever. Elephants will remember if you were kind to them or if you weren't kind to them, like they have this amazing memory. So there's something about family here and, um, it's a number 11 beautiful. So that's like your soul path and it's talking about by the book. So let's clarify that for you and see what is going on with Sag. Maybe you've been really trying to do things deliberately and correctly. Like you're really playing by the rules here. You really want to show up in a way that's best for the long term. I think you're thinking about other people. And I also feel like you're really future oriented right now. Um, and we're getting, ooh, okay. We're getting two here. All that glitters and new life. Wow, Sagittarius, this is amazing. So yeah, there is something about like, for Sagittarius, what long-term success looks like? What does wealth look like? What does it mean to be wealthy. You know, is it just about the money? No, it's not. Because I think that this is something like you are looking for deeper connections in your life. You are looking for um, places and people and situations where the masks fall off, where it's not phony, where it's authentic, where it's really, really aligned with something higher. So that's why I said like you're future oriented. And um, and I think, you know, they say all that glitters is not gold. And I'm thinking of Bob Marley when he said, don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver or gold. So for some of you, maybe, you know, that's a big part of it. I'm going to put this queen of wands right there. Um, that's a part of it for you. There's like this wisdom that you carry, you know, Sagittarius, S-A-G, it's, it's, it's sage, it's sage wisdom. Um, and I love this because it's like, 
uh, this number 39 here, new life. She's waking up. She's coming out of hibernation um, and that's sort of that Aries energy. So maybe, you know, this winter it was kind of like you're, you know, just doing the work um, and now it's like you're waking up, you're stretching, you're taking your your stre your morning stretch, you're breathing really deeply and you're, it's like life is being, um, is being like brought back into you as we're approaching spring up in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, and, you know, we're changing seasons. Even if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're going to be moving into fall. And, you know, for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, it's like, oh, the air gets cleaner and it feels lighter. So there's really something about um, Sagittarius, like having a, a new inspiration, uh, a new passion, a new desire to maybe you know, to maybe break free from this by the book energy that can be the king of pentacles, you know, amazing, amazing king, but it can get a bit tedious and boring and it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for creativity. And so I'm thinking that this is where you're like, if, if Sag, if you've just been doing things by the book and it's creating abundance for you or it's, you know, you're in a comfortable place, it's something where it's like, all right, let's breathe some life into this. Let's shake things up. Let's spice things up. Um, yeah. So it's a really nice, fresh, creative energy for Sag. And uh, bottom of the deck was to the sea. So this is very Piscean here. And I feel that this is a part of that five of cups that we saw. I feel that you've been um, really working through some of your own energies, like a bit of shadow work. And uh, this is where I think that you've really taken the time to be by yourself, to work through some unhealed things, um, to really look within, um, to find your North Star, to find your direction. So there's something about Sagittarius maybe finding a new direction. That's the Page of Wands. You know, he has a new direction. He's going to walk one path. So you may be choosing um, to walk down a new path, even if it's more like how you do things, how you show up. You are so fiery, Sagittarius. So if someone's been kind of like stifling some of your creativity or it's felt a bit tedious or a bit boring for you, I feel that this is where you're spicing things up. Um, I'm also getting the message of like eat, drink and be merry because again, St. Patrick's Day coming up and it, it is like, you know, where you're getting out of the doldrums, again, waking up out of maybe like the winter slumber, taking that deep breath and getting ready to go out into the world and shine your light like the queen of wands does so let's look at your chakras Hey, Saji, we get spiritual awakening. Beautiful. So your crown chakra coming in and, you know, like I said before, I started your reading, um, getting that really high pitched ringing in my left ear. I was feeling like you're getting a lot of messages from spirit, a lot of downloads from spirit. You know, this is where you're channeling energy from above, um, your crown being really open. Uh, that is a number 29, which equals an 11. So it goes back to that by the book. And we're getting balanced with the root chakra. So this is very balanced, you know, because you've got the crown chakra. Now you've got the root chakra, uh, number six with balance. So spiritual awakening and balance. You're working this month with the crown and the root. So it is kind of like an as above, so below. Like it's making me think of the magician. Um, so, you know, there's a lot about um, your foundations, your stability, um, you know, feeling anchored in the physical world, having all of your needs met, and also really your connection to the divine and how that plays such an important role in your long-term success, this future-oriented thinking that uh, I'm feeling from Sag. Bottom of the deck is your sacral chakra. So um, this is like kind of the underlying energy here about flexibility. You are a mutable sign, um, but maybe with this by the book and the King of Pentacles, maybe there's, you know, there was an energy of having to kind of be a bit more fixed. 
um, or even initiating cardinal. I'm, I'm sensing more fixed here. And so this is the underlying energy of Sagittarius, maybe returning to that fire, you know, um, fire is very flexible. Fire is very mutable by its very nature. It's changeable and, but still having that anchored kind of energy. Um, so this month, your sacral chakra being really important. That's your emotional body. This is the element of water coming in, uh, turning to face the light, really feeling this alignment. So a lot of creativity and expression, emotional expression, a lot of emoting, um, because you are working with this as above, so below kind of magician energy. And, and with the new life there, like right in the center, this is beautiful. It's not that like, you know, anything is deconstructing completely in your life. I don't see that. I see that you've already built some really solid relationships and foundations. I think that you're just going to be approaching things in a new way. Um, I'm sensing this by the book is kind of like you may be I don't know, maybe um, not rebelling against it, but you're breathing new life into your projects, into your work, even into your relationships. I'm feeling if things got a bit stagnant inside of particular relationships, there's something about breathing new life into these um, partnerships and relationships. So I really, really like that. All right, so let's clarify your tarot here and see what we have. I love the balance of the root chakra too. So if you are having, um, if you've had maybe a slower season with regards to your work, if money has been a little bit tight, um, I'm feeling like your financial life is coming into greater balance. Like I was saying, I feel like your money is looking really good in the month of March and going forward. Okay, so let's clarify the tarot for Sagittarius. So thank you, angels, and thank you, spirit. What do you have for Sagittarius for the month of March? So we get the Page of Cups, another page. I really love the page energy for you, Sag. I, I really do because it's so youthful and it's so innocent and it's inspired and it's it's that new energy that's coming in. Very, very creative month for Sag is what I'm seeing. And we're getting the Empress. I told you, money looking really good. And this is sort of with that sacral energy, your second chakra of birthing something new, new creative ideas. This is Taurian energy. So this is like really looking at things from a long-term type of perspective. It's growing things slowly. It really is. And it starts with kind of like this beautiful small cup. Um, for some of you, there is like a relationship that you're mending. Um, <clears throat> Page of Cups can be like an apology, you know, or someone coming in to share a cup of their love, offer you a cup of their love. And, and that's beautiful, you know, um, to wrap up the astrological year. So Page of Cups with the Empress, beautiful, definitely a growth cycle and it's slow growth. Yes, Sag. Nine of Pentacles here. So this is also your independence. You know, this is like, again, your money looking really good, feeling really good about yourself. This is radical self-care here. So with the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, this is definitely radical self-care. Um, this is where you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. I'm, I'm feeling like um, there is something about this eat, drink, and be merry for you in the month of March. It feels a bit more celebratory. If, um, if you're getting out of the winter doldrums, like I was feeling, um, or even if some of you had a really hot summer, if you're down in the Southern Hemisphere, if it was a, like oppressively hot summer, it's something where like, like the energy is shifting and um and you're out and you're enjoying other people you're enjoying your home you're really enjoying your home life you're going out you're having fun you're with other people um feeling really good about yourself um all of that so let's get you one last card and the ten of swords yeah so this is kind of like going back to that five of cups i'm sensing that this is like um really breathing new life into things that um from the past that like old cycles so this is the start of a new cycle you're definitely completing a chapter it may not be like the biggest um chapter or the biggest transformation but it's there was something maybe like an old energy that's leaving and that's why you're coming up as a page of wands and, a, and there's a page of cups here because the ten of swords is signifying like a painful 
yet necessary ending. Uh, the the Ten of Swords is, you know, it's a it's a lesser arcana of death. And so it's where something does change, some, something really shifts, something's ending. It could be where you've suffered some betrayal or something's ending. For some of you, maybe it is around this King of Pentacles. Um, maybe some of you are ending a job or um, some relationship is ending for you. But there's like this rebirth and renewal because we did see that Ace of Cups before I cut the deck in the beginning. So there is a rebirth and a renewal. There may be an apology um, that you're getting from this King of Pentacles. That's the Page of Cups. So somebody may want to work something out with you. Um, I'm feeling like maybe you were lied to or you were led to believe that something was a certain way and it didn't turn out that way so you know because we're getting two tens here and 10 and 10 is 20 which is judgment so there is like a finality to something um and it could be where you're receiving some kind of apology some kind of recognition um and if it's not that it, even if you know there hasn't been this big betrayal or ending um i'm sensing it's almost like um like a letting go of old stories, a letting go of old things. The Ten of Swords shows us how we get back up again. You know, it's after like defeat or, you know, something happening. We just get back up again and uh, and we start new and we start fresh. And we saw that new life card, which is so important. Some Sagittarians, I'm just going to say, uh, with new life and the Empress, this can even be a nod to actually... Um, conceiving a child okay like you know really conceiving a child or if you're um looking to be grandparents this could be you know that one of your children is um conceiving a child so i'm sensing that um could be like you know you're getting a puppy or a kitten or a new pet it's something that, like actually like literal with new life for sagittarius which is so beautiful um but this is about really creating a new life that that's really what i see here and even if it's just a change in your perspective, a shift in the energy. Um, it's definitely around tribe and family and connections and really, really long-term growth about your self-worth. Um, with the bird there, I feel you're going to be receiving a lot of messages this month, both from angels, spirit, your guides, and actually from people that you know. I feel there's a lot of messages coming in. I feel that you will be expressing love. You will be expressing um, maybe you'll be a bit flirtier this month, um, a bit lighter on your feet. And I really feel that you're going to be getting the messages as well. So like single Sagittarians, I am going to say you're looking really good this month. Um, you're coming across as very sort of uh, confident, someone that can overcome challenges, someone that can reinvent themselves. That's another message that I'm getting um, is that you're maybe even reinventing yourself or you're just like coming out of your shell again. Um, and it's like a new, it's almost like a new version of you. Bottom of the deck, going back to this kind of self-worth is the Queen of Pentacles. So there is something very grounded about your energy uh, this month, which is beautiful, or you're really dealing just with the element of earth. So it's like self-love, self-care, home, finances, stability, grounding, um, beauty and aesthetic and really thinking about long-term growth. Uh, and all of that. And we're getting this King and Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you, there may be a partner that, um, that maybe you separated from, or there was some trouble in the relationship and now you're single. Some Sagittarians are newly single. That's something that I'm seeing. Others of you, um, if there was a separation, I do see where you may be working things out. You may be deciding to work things out or at least just do the healing around it because I am feeling that there are messages coming in underneath the Queen of Pentacles was the Ace of Swords. So again, more of these messages for Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so that's uh, some more messages that I'm getting. Let's ask about love for Sagittarius. Let's ask about love for you. And you're the first sign that I'm really doing this for. I'm just sensing uh, some kind of love energy or relational energy about your relations with other people. 
So Sagittarius relationships for the month of March. So we are getting the five of swords. Yeah, see, there's that energy of defeat and loss. Um, another five. Uh, but I love, this is my favorite five of swords from any deck uh, that I've ever seen because you can see where there's like shooting stars all around this person. And it's like the cosmic energy is raining down blessings upon you. So there's something about picking your head back up. You've really been through it in relationships for the Sagittarians I'm reading for. And I do feel that it's um, all of your quote unquote defeats have really been there um, to help you explore what you're worth in a big way. And uh, really, uh, it's it's made you grow a lot, uh, really, really made you grow a lot. And we're getting the five of pentacles. You see that? So we saw the five of cups. Now we're seeing the five of pentacles. So let's see what we have with that. Five and five is 10. Wheel of fortune, the moon. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, Sag. So yeah, some of you are dealing with a difficult relationship cycle. Okay, because the moon coming out. A difficult relation relationship cycle. And I think that this is something that um, you have been actively working on. I'm feeling for Sagittarius that a lot of you have been more focused on your career, um, your friends, you know, uh, your business, your stability, your growth, your personal power. Uh, and that's because I think that you've been really betrayed and let down inside of some type of partnership, whether it's romantic or family or business. So this has been a cycle for you. And Nine of Wands is one of your cards. But I also see the Nine of Wands as being connected into Chiron, which is like the wounded healer, the asteroid. Check for Chiron in your chart. See where it is. Um, this has showed you where, you know, you... Uh, can obtain great strength from all of these challenges, from these tough situations, from these losses that you've experienced. And um, and this is a cycle that many of you have been in, but it's shown you where your strengths are and it's showing you where your superpowers are. So that's something that they really want you to know. Um, perhaps it was even around this kind of like false mask energy. All that glitters isn't always gold. And that's maybe been a lesson for Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords with the Page of Swords. So, and then the Magician. So I really feel that for the Sagis that I'm reading for, it's like inside of love. Um, and I feel that this is going back to a whole cycle for you. Um, you know, you really have seen where you've been manipulated by other people, uh, where you felt like that was a cycle and um, a place that you repeated over and over again. But really um, seeing where it's uh, shown you your own strength. So let's get some additional cards for you, Sagittarius with regards to your love relationships, what else is going on for Sag in love? Okay, so we're getting the sun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's it, This is the portal that's open for you. And this is kind of the change of energy. I think that this is where you're being blessed because the sun is the highest blessing, blessed by the universe, blessed by your guides, the light returning to you. It's the ultimate blessing of love with the high priestess. So it's almost like now it's time to really trust yourself. There's no more um, pulling the wool over Sagittarian's eyes. You've learned a lot of lessons. You have this deep inner knowing now. Um, you know, now it's like, I think maybe some of you might, might have been dealing almost with like a narcissistic empath uh, type of relationships in your life. And this is where um, where the spiritual awakening is coming in for you. We saw that card of spiritual awakening because it's so powerful. It's like there's no more pulling the wool over your eyes. There's no more manipulating Sagittarius with regards to your love relationships. Um, so this is really having like 
a higher truth and a discernment. So nobody's going to get one over on you anymore. Okay. Um, and I, I, like I said, I haven't really pulled specific love messages for any of the other signs, but I was really feeling that it was important for Sag. So now I know why, especially if somebody is coming in to kind of like apologize to you or you're receiving messages, um, you may even have some love offers this month. So um, I think it's really about trusting yourself and remaining really optimistic about your love life, re remaining optimistic about relationships in general, that you deserve good things. That's the lesson of the queen of pentacles is your self-worth and the nine of pentacles is your self-worth. So knowing that you're worthy and knowing that now, you know, you, uh, you have very, very sharp instincts, good discernment, and you're very intuitive and you're psychic. Okay. So trust that energy and let's see what else we have for you two of pentacles which is all about making healthier choices for yourself you know and really like you know it's almost this energy of like when someone tells you what they are believe them when they show you what they are believe them so you're gonna know how this translates into your physical reality um you know and it's also where you may just be deciding to try on different people, date a little bit, talk to multiple people, um, not really commit to something too specific, it, but it's really about making those healthy choices. And the Knight of Cups, I love this for you, Sag. So this is beautiful because this is all about romance and it could be dating. It could be just like being very um, flirty, very in your heart, going on dates, going out, celebrating with friends, getting yourself out there, um, really making the effort. It's Piscean. So it's also about like um, re-realizing re your dreams. So for those of you who are in situationships or you're single and uh, your love life has been really tough, maybe you've even been through a massive breakup. I'm sensing like a twin flame energy here. Um, again, I was feeling the narcissist empath. So I think it's like a breakthrough, the new life card that we saw about getting yourself back out there again. And this time you're going to use your highest intuition. You're going to make those healthy choices, but you're also going to reopen your heart again. And let's see what came after that. And the four of cups. Yeah. So it's time to like, um, have that breakthrough Sag and get out of this place of feeling like maybe the universe has passed you by with regards to love and relationships. And it's putting yourself back out there again. That's what I'm seeing for you. Four of swords. So another four at the bottom. Wow. Four of swords, four of wands. So some of you, yeah, you're still doing some healing, but you're moving closer towards union. You really are. Um, celebration union this is like my halfway to marriage card and it's also my twin flame card so some of you are in a twin flame connection if you're watching this far and that resonates for you please drop a comment even just with like a fire emoji or something and let me know if maybe you want me to do a twin flame reading because you guys know that I do that I have a whole twin flame playlist so feel free to drop a comment with regards to that but yeah four oh my gosh so we're gonna end it here um when I decided to set up for your reading. I told you I saw 444. It was 4 444 p.m. uh mountain standard time here or mountain time here in Sedona on um on February 26th on Sunday and it was 444 and we're going to end the reading with 4 4 and 4. So know that the angels are surrounding you. You are so loved. You are so supported, my beautiful Sagittarians. Those were your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. I hope that you have a beautiful month of March. If there's anything I can do for you, please reach out. It would be my pleasure to connect with you. Uh, as always, take extra good care, drink your water, get your sunshine, do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you all soon. Namaste.